Everybody's favorite fantasy football positions are, of course, defense and kicker. You know it. But they're necessary. So we will go through and give you some quick rankings for each of these positions in a very short video to help you out with week one starts and all of September. We are not going to do this every week because we would fall asleep. And I don't want to become a narcoleptic because I'm ranking fantasy football defenses every week. So mm. do us a huge favor. Make sure you like the video. Seriously, if you enjoy, if you are happy we're doing defense and kicker rankings, please drop a like on the video. Like We need some feedback here to because to, like otherwise we won't keep doing this. But if, we, if you like it, let us know in the comments all right uh i'll do the s tier here i i know so first of all so here's here's some notes that we can note uh the difference between the eighth best and 29th best defense special teams last year was wait for it eighth and 29th which should be this should be a big gap right mm -hmm. 23 points oh the difference between 18th and 29th was nine points so oh. it becomes negligible after a certain point. That being said, starting with the S tier, the Eagles in their first couple games are going to play New England, Minnesota, and Tampa Bay. The Eagles have one of the highest fantasy scoring defenses in the league. They, they cause a lot of turnovers, and they obviously are going to be playing teams that they could beat, especially teams like Tampa Bay, who is very, very bad. I mean, they could score enough points in that matchup alone to be ranked at the top. So the Ravens are going to be next. The Ravens are playing the Texans, the Bengals, pretty good. The Colts. So, I mean, between mm. the Ravens being a good defense and a well-coached defense and playing crap teams, it's pretty appropriate to put them in the S tier for September as well. And then the Cowboys. The Cowboys are always going to force a lot of turnovers as well. Last year, they forced 33 turnovers, which was first. Uh, they are playing the Giants, the Jets, and the Arizona Cardinals. So, expect them to come out hot as well. And then the Niners. Obviously, the, the Boza holdout is going to be pivotal here. That said, they're playing Pittsburgh, the Rams, and the Giants. So we're going to rank them in the S tier here. Moving down to the A tier. So the A tier, we're going to have one team here only, and that's going to be the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I, I think the biggest reason we're going to have them in the A tier, and this may, may be higher than a lot of people have them going into the year, is, I mean, they were they were poor last year. They were kind of middle of the pack-ish. And a lot of that was because they had, a, they, they had a really tough schedule and TJ Watt was injured for a lot of the season. So Wide. now you go into week one this year, starting again with a healthy TJ Watt. Yes, they're playing San Francisco and Cleveland, but then they get an easier game with Vegas. Even though that's a tougher schedule and that's not obviously why they're not in the S tier, I am going to have them above the, the team who are going to have in the following tier, in the B tier that Simon's going to touch on just because of the fact that that you've got TJ Watt, you've got a lot of tur turnover worthy players in that defense, and it's a Mike Tomlin led team. So I, I think you got to count on them being pretty reliable this season as long as health is on their side. Yeah. Yeah. Here in the B team, we have uh, the Bill Belichick B for Bill Belichick. Nice. Patriots. Uh, last year, they were the first overall when it came to defense and special teams, and they get a pretty rough schedule to start the year, which hey, is why they're ranked this low. They're the playing year. Eagles, yeah. Dolphins, and Jets the first oh. three weeks. So through September, Jeez, they have some hard one. offenses to play. But we know Bill Belichick is still going to be able to turn that into something. Mastermind. He, uh, Bill's Belichick. He is kind of like pretty decent at coaching defenses. Mm -hmm. um, so we're excited to see what he can turn that into. And uh, here in the back of the B tier, we also have the Jets. Uh, they're playing against some hard teams. They're playing the Bills and the Cowboys to start off the year and then playing the Patriots. Um, so the Jets, obviously a, a brilliant defense last year. Robert Sala really turned, turned that defense into a well-oiled machine. And uh, they definitely have some upside this year too. You know, taking Will McDonald the fifteenth pick and could could be even better this year. Yeah, look for them. Look for their ranking to go up after the month of September and October because as the season progresses, their schedule does get a little bit more friendly. But right now, they're going to have to be a couple tiers down from the top. I will say this. Yeah, like you said, the difference between eighth and twenty ninth was twenty three points. So really, once you're getting to this far in defenses, it really yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah, and then so we'll finish up here real quick with the Saints who have the Titans, the Panthers, and the Packers their first couple weeks. And then the Panthers, another NFC South team, which is kind of funny that we have NFC South teams on here, but Panthers were ninth in 2022 in defense, even though they sucked really bad. I think it's because the offenses that they play suck. Yeah, that, the is, that, is, are playing. Yes, that yep. is true. It's almost like a, yeah. yeah. Uh, Atlanta, they play Atlanta, New Orleans, and Seattle. So we'll put them on here, and then the Broncos will round it out. Broncos, honestly, have a little bit higher potential than this, but for this week, we will rank them here at the end of the seat here. They play, or for this month, sorry, they play Vegas, they play the Commies, and they play the Miami Dolphins. So... Those are going to be the top defenses for this week again. 
uh, or sorry, this month. Dang, I keep doing that. It's for the whole <laughs> month. Okay, we did the first three games. Let us know if you like this video. If you want monthly rankings next month, let's go to kickers, which is infinitely more fun. Yes. Yes. Yep. And uh, one thing that we will want to note about kickers here is the difference between the highest producing kicker, which seems to be Justin Tucker every single year, and the 19th best producing kicker is 32 points. Mm. And the difference between the sixth best and 19th best is 14 points. So really, after the top five, uh, you're really getting into... Who cares? All, all, who cares territory. So we are going to start in his own tier, Justin Tucker. I, I mean, he is from an NFL perspective, hands down the best kicker in the NFL. And I think he'll go down in history as the best kicker ever. I, I mean, with their, uh, maybe even over Adam Vinatieri and I, he's so clutch, man. It, it's, you. it's insane, but they're like playing Houston, Cincinnati and the Colts. So I think you've got to expect uh, Baltimore to score be in the lot. red zone a lot and score a lot of points. And, the biggest concern would be how many times will they turn those red zone appearances into touchdowns and limit the kickers upside with Justin Tucker. There's a chance there. There's a risk, but you have to have Justin Tucker at the top literally every single month, like without question. So yeah, in the A tier, we're just pretty much going with who's on a good offense. We have Butker obviously playing with Patrick Mahomes. They're going to be scoring a lot. And if they don't get a touchdown, He'll take a field goal. Same thing with Bass playing in the Bills. Uh, you know, Bass right, is you, so consistent. Yeah, you got yeah. him playing right there with Josh Allen. They're going to be in scoring a positions bass. a lot. You got yeah. Evan McPherson. Everyone loves him. Shooter. He's Shoot. playing with Joe Burrow. The yeah. Cincinnati Bengals profile to score a lot of points this year. Mm. And guess what? When they don't, McPherson can take the field goals. And then here we got an actual one. It's Daniel Carlson, who was, I believe, second overall on kickers last Who's year. Who's just and a really good kicker. Very good. He's a really good kicker. And, you know, the Raiders probably won't be in scoring positions very often, but... But if they have be low field goal position. Ex- there you go. Yeah. yeah, that's that's a very good point. All right, the B tier of kickers. What you've been waiting for all off season. We're going to start with Graham Gano. Then we're going to have Jake Elliott. Matt Gay is going to follow him. We're going to put Young Ho. Yes, you're saying Young Way. Young Way. Young, yeah, young Way Koo. I, but I wanted to say Young Ho. Okay. Young Ho Koo. I, I, well, I know his name is Young Young Way Koo. Uh, and that's it. And I'm not going to talk about those guys because, again, we're down into kind of the no man's land of kickers. So, and the C tier. C tier, we're going to have Jason Sanders. Um, and then we got Patterson, who's playing Kansas City, Seattle, and Atlanta. So that's why he's going to be down here. And then Jason Myers playing the Rams, the Lions, and the Panthers. So there's a little bit of upside there for a kicker that's not. I mean, really reliable from a points perspective or, or very consistent across the board. Again, kind of a crapshoot once you get down here. I, I would definitely recommend if you're if you're looking at uh, a f- starting a fantasy draft, if you're not getting Justin Tucker, like don't don't draft. And it's kicker. not really worth reaching for Justin Tucker. As it no. Is. no, unless you're getting yeah. him in the last round. He, he so. might give you. OK, so difference between first and 19th is 32 points and if. 15 week 16 week fantasy season that's like two points per game it's not really worth raging for i'd rather just take an actual position and get get a boost elsewhere yeah yeah completely agree there so obviously the most thrilling video we've done but if you want us to we will do one of these a month take these rankings for what they're worth and and the fact of the matter is in a normal fantasy league not worth a ton but defense will defense will be helpful though with mashups especially because they're, yeah. they're, well, 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 our audience good point, yeah. King. Yeah. yeah, good, good point. Sport. Yeah. All right. I'm make sure you sporty. drop a like on the video and make sure you are subscribed as well. If you want fantasy football content, that's what we do. Yes. We release it, and you should probably subscribe. So, flockfantasy.com/slash domain is where all of our exclusive content is. If you want to join us in that community as well, domain. You have to use code domain. 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 Appreciate you watching. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you later.